Welcome back to the third episode of the Do The Thing podcast with us, the Juicy Vlog. But we have a guest, our first guest oh on God. the show. Welcome. Freya Fox. Oh, it's great to be here, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. Thanks so much. We've just, we've just filmed. Yeah, our first guest. We've just filmed a hilarious video for your channel. Um, all, we'll link all Freya's stuff in the description of this podcast and the video if you're watching on YouTube. Um, yeah, Freya, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a bit stressed out after that. that yeah, was a bit... it was intense. Wasn't we it? did a GCSE test. And yeah, it didn't go well. It was it was stressful, but we get, we did it. We're done. You know. Yeah. Now I don't do any more schoolwork for another two months. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's a nice reboot for my brain. But yeah, yeah. Exactly. So Freya has a YouTube channel. What's your sub count at the moment? It, I think like fifty five thousand. Yeah, amazing. So we're here like oh, wow. We're like just bowing <laughs> down to you. Yeah, literally. which is amazing. And you're no. sixteen. I'm sixteen. Yeah, just turned. Wow, really? Yeah. You're so mature. Yeah. Oh, see, everyone says that. Yeah. I don't see, I think it's You seem older. It's sis, older sisters. Yeah, that's true. I think, and as well, I think I can be both. I can be mature and I've got to be, but I can also be a 16-year-old. Oh, yeah. So, that's really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I still, I still feel 16. kind that's of... That's the best way to be. 16, 17. <laughs> definitely, right. definitely. 100%. Yeah. yeah. No point acting too mature. No, exactly. exactly. You've got to have fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the point. Yeah, so thanks for coming on. We just kind of want to have a chat about YouTube, I suppose, and like, obviously, you've get, gotten quite big in the past. Mm -hmm. Is it how, like, two months, three yeah, months? Yeah, like last yeah. couple months, yeah, which is crazy. It's just, I think... I decided like to do like the really thing people told me I was stupid for doing. I was like, you know what? I'm going to vlog my GCSEs. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to do that. It's such a great idea because that's yeah. what you want to see. Like someone going through it on YouTube is like, an app. yeah, it's such a good yeah. idea. Because I remember searching it up before I did it and I was like, I really want to see what people like. And there was a few people did odd day or did mm -hmm. they did a week in their life. And I was like, no, I want to do this every day. I want to upload it just after so that people can come somewhere after they've done their GCSEs and go, right. How did Freya find this? How did one in the comments find this? And it became a little community. That's amazing. And you're literally yeah. filming the day of the GCC, yeah. like before yeah. you go in and stuff. And, yeah. and the people did come. Yeah. They did come. So Which how your kind of views and stuff before that and like on those videos, how different was it? It was so different. Like I remember I, because I've, I've done videos for a long time. So I've got subscribers to different things. You know, videos doing well and just overall like gaining. And I remember I was like, oh, my channel's not doing that great anymore. I was, I had like quite a few subscribers, but the views weren't great. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, like it kind of got to the point where I was in a bit of a rut, you know, and you're just yeah. like, I'm uploading videos and I'm just not really enjoying it that much. I was like, you know what? I want to vlog because I really like vlogging and everyone's yeah. always told me I've got really funny friends. I was like, this just works. It makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, before it, like, before my, it was just you know we're just thinking I could do like I know I can do better than this I know I can make better videos than this and yeah as soon as I started like, remember videos I remember I was in the library after one of my exams like revising and me and my friend had my sub count up and I gained like 2,000 subscribers while I was revising for this exam and I was like wow, wow. the hell That's this is amazing. crazy Isn't it? and it's just it's mental how you know and it, it felt so nice because it wasn't like I was like you know I didn't have to do anything cra like crazy to do yeah, it like yeah. I was just doing something everything Being else yourself was doing like, exactly and it was great because everyone was my age everyone that yeah. like, I could relate to me like it was relatable content it wasn't because oh my god this crazy thing's happened to this girl yeah, yeah, we all yeah. want to know yeah. what's happening there's no click it was just, involved yeah, exactly it's, like, that's, yeah. it's crazy because you know like youtube's turned into such a place where i think the only way to like people think the only way to gain subscribers is to clickbait 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 and yeah. you know like at that they're you know doing something they're not and you know exaggerate things so it was yeah. nice to just do something and people just to find it entertaining and to find it like relatable and subscribe for that reason, not subscribe because it was like something out of the ordinary. Yeah. So yeah. that was the nice thing about it. But no, it's, I it think that's amazing. it. It's just yeah. so relatable, isn't it? Yeah. I know, like when I was doing my GCSEs, you were just saying earlier that you did all your revision from YouTube. Yeah. We were books, like, and post it notes. You didn't revise, George didn't revise the GCSEs <laughs> at all. Night before, at a push, <laughs> maybe like half an hour or something. But oh yeah, I'd never have thought to even look on YouTube to find stuff for it. And now that that's how it is, like mm. I'm talking about, it's only like five years ago, but how it's changed so much yeah. and it's such a good idea like no, doing relatable stuff yeah it's crazy how much youtube literally got me like i think everyone told me this so like youtube got people for exams because mm -hmm. you had that like emotional support basis of other people vlogging going through it you then had like yeah. literal teachers teaching you stuff you know you'd like people like there's there's people called like mr bruff and they'll be there right night before a bit right this is the last minute things because you're not going to school i had study leave yeah so i mean i just went into school for my exam and left yeah so i was doing that and you still had these teachers in your sub box every night like nagging you like right you're going to revise these things tonight and it was just nice it was like yeah. school it was like a whole new school kind of level yeah. on youtube and it was, yeah amazing. it is crazy how things have changed yeah. but it was mm -hmm. so handy 
And where do you see it kind of going? Because obviously your GCSEs are over now. You'll obviously get your results yeah. soon. But like, where do you see your channel going now? I, I want to go definitely down more of the vlog path. Mm-hmm. Like you guys do that. And I think yeah. that's such a good thing, you know, just like, because that's what people like. Again, it's relatable content. Yeah. Like It's more popular, Yeah, I think, it is. Like sit, sit, down, sit down videos. Like it's nice to do one. I like doing one like now and then and yeah. things like that. But I really do like the idea of doing like, you know, like college and like talking. Kind of, it's just like teen life. Yeah. Like yeah. I lo- like kind of being that teenage people can go to be like, okay, what's Freya doing for this? Like yeah. I just did a video chatting about how I went to like one of my colleges I was supposed to go to and like hated it. Yeah. And people were like, oh, I have the same thing. Like I didn't like my college and yeah. like I don't want to do it. And I'm like, well, this is what I'm doing. And it's, yeah, I just want to do more relatable things. And like, I really want to like give people an insight into kind of teenage life who maybe, yeah. you know, haven't been teenage for a few years or are still kind of about to go to stage. Exactly. Like us gripping on to that <laughs> yeah, youth, literally. you know, just about. So yeah. you're, um, you said you started making videos when you were eight yeah. years old. Yeah. And I guess back then you probably didn't have like a focus particularly. No. You're just doing whatever you want. Oh, that was, enjoyed that it. was before people were making money or things like mm-hmm. this. Like it was like, YouTube was literally something people went on yeah. to like have fun. Just for fun. Yeah. And that was like, the, I think that was the best times. I think like, especially I remember watching it and I still was doing it in like 2014 like times when like the British YouTubers were like all the talk and they were going to like Amity Fest and things like that were happening. Yeah. Like, I it's remember like going Alfie, to that. Zoe, yeah. Jim, yeah. Yeah. Tanya, all and they were, they were friends and all like, like, they were still at like their managements and like, that was like the prime time. And at that point, you know, they were really the only people who had that as a job. It wasn't mm-hmm. like now, obviously it's yeah. such a big thing. There's so many people who this is their job now or yeah. at least like they're making enough to like be yeah, happy with yeah. it but. and on that so you've obviously got years of content ahead mm. of you now like you yeah. just said college you can kind of take the take the audience you've gained from all yeah. the GCSE stuff and you can like lead them through yeah. with, with them. you yeah. Yeah. so you've got like yeah. college like even if you decide to go to uni yeah. or something do you, do you know are you looking at like the potential is YouTube what you want to do yeah definitely I think definitely in the like that field yeah I love it like entertainment I've always wanted to be an actress mm-hmm. like you know my goal is to like I want to go to a drama school I've always mm-hmm. said like if I, I would I don't see myself like doing something really academic but yeah 100% I think like this industry is like the best one to be in I love entertainment and things like that so yeah. I just I've always said I don't see myself sitting in an office job no like yeah. especially now and the horrible like it's sometimes I get like kind of mad about it because I've like, had this insight now of like having this as my job like mm-hmm. it's as mm-hmm. like even though like, I don't need a job right now I'm young but it's like the fact that this is my job now and it's doing something I enjoy when like I worked for two years in a pub washing dishes like yeah. from the age of like 13 to 15 I did that yeah. and it, every Sunday and I remember I literally used to cry before I went in because I hated it I was like I'm not the type of person to do a job yeah, like this that's, that's yeah. Complete, yeah. and like being able to quit and being like okay it's fine like YouTube I can focus on YouTube mm-hmm. and I was like now this is my job like I don't want to go back from that I can't I just can't see myself doing it so just definitely. yeah definitely and like yeah. being able to like entertain people yeah and it, for it to be a job and doing so you because you guys all say like doing something you enjoy is a, like there's no point being yeah. a job you don't yeah. enjoy it yeah that's, that's it. literally like exactly like how i think do the like, thing yeah yeah and it's good that you've had that experience of doing like a mm. normal job yeah. or whatever. yeah exactly so you've got that grounding yeah because uh, i think a lot of people have come into youtube like all those people we spoke about a minute ago where that was their first job and yeah. it's been their only job exactly. so it's nice that you've kind of had that yeah. other experience as yeah. well I had those two years of hating it yeah. and I was like you maybe want to do it more I think that's the people who you see the people who've done so successful like through things like that it's just oh people who've done success in their jobs and made money are yeah. going to be the people who have actually gone through like you know done things before and had to like work their way the up and had the experience of, of working yeah. in a horrible job where they just don't want to go and then finally doing something they love mm-hmm. so yeah I, I, I'm happy I did it like because it's definitely made me yeah. a lot more thankful I think if that was my first job I'd be like oh this is easy like this yeah. is like, how you make money like every job's easy like yeah. exactly. but I understand like now and like when I talk to my friends who are going like trying to get their jobs like I'm not like oh like guys stop it's just a job like I, yeah. I understand I'm, like I hated working I started working so early yeah because I've like I've just always wanted to be able to like like supply for myself and be able to do things and like yeah. pay for things myself I hate like I had a paper yeah. round at 13 like I was earning 14 pounds a week doing mm. it every day like I literally like obviously hated it. like come rain yeah. or shine snowing I was out there doing it um if my mum's listening she'd probably say actually I did most of them for you because I couldn't bothered <laughs> but um no I literally I was like so money driven and wanting yeah. to get a job and do stuff for myself from an early age so, so, you, so you're, you're 16 and you've kind of found Obviously, it's going to change and whatever, but you've kind of found a thing you love doing. You can make money from it. Um, That's crazy. Like, you're so young, but I guess a lot of people your age and even our age, so Lucy's 21, I'm 25, don't have a clue what they want to do with their lives. So, like, what would you say to someone maybe your age or kind of, you know, between 15 and 20, that kind of age bracket, who who just doesn't have a clue what they want to do? What would you kind of say? I think I'd just say you have to keep 
you know it's everything starts as kind of a hobby I think as well mm. like no matter mm. what you know you think you're going to go into you need to stick to kind of what you want to do like I did YouTube for years and mm-hmm. haven't been going nowhere I yeah. started it me and my I remember it was like a craze in school like everyone wanted to YouTube so yeah. we all did it yeah and year eight like was when I really started doing it properly and everyone just stopped doing it and then it was just me and then everyone's like Freya's still doing it god Freya's still doing it yeah, yeah and yeah. then like I got to the point I was like why am I still doing it and all of a sudden it that's when I started like getting a bigger audience and I think you just if you're enjoying something and if you it's where you want it to go somewhere or if you want like over if it's not YouTube it's a random job you know if you want something enough yeah. yeah and you're yeah. you're gonna get you're gonna get there at some point yeah. you've just got to keep working towards it that's amazing it's exactly yeah. how we feel actually yeah it's been quite like it's not a slow growth for us but like I feel like we have always been like true to ourselves mm. in what we do. Like we've never done videos, like particularly like jumping off the back of things yeah. to try and like, like you said, do something crazy yeah. to get views. We've kind of just done it how we like it and yeah. our personalities. Us, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's the best way for it to be as well though, because mm. there's, I mean, there's been times where I've like, especially in the past, like I've I'd got a video done well, like a video got like 800,000 views. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's good. But then that's the people are not staying, you know. Mm, those yeah. people, are, oh my god, that video is cool. Next. Now you're back to doing videos I don't really enjoy again, so yeah. I don't really care. Yeah, like so it's you know you, the steadiness is the best way to be. I think mm-hmm. that's overall with everything. It's like be, having that steady people watching videos. You have like people coming every week and knowing it's going or every day and knowing there's going to be a new video. Yeah, is much better. Even it's if like your less, audience, yeah, yeah. It's, it's personal, like a comfort sort yeah. of thing. It's better than being on, you know, the recommended page once and going, mm. you know, gaining people who are just interested in that video mm-hmm. and like don't even take a look at the other ones. And then you'd feel a need to carry on creating yeah. that sort of content, yeah. I suppose. And it gets exactly. samey, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what would you, so you obviously, you're, you were in a school environment, you're mm. doing YouTube, loads of people, other people around you probably wanted to do YouTube yeah. and they see you. Did you come across, I'm sure you had a ton of support from your friends and stuff. Yeah. Did you come across sort of jealousy and negativity and stuff like that because we obviously we get that in the form of comments yeah but we're not in a school building every mm, day no. and we don't see the people who are commenting negatively on our kind and of school's stuff school's like harsh isn't it like yeah. people can be horrible in school completely yeah. and you're at an all-girls school yeah, all yeah. Girls, yeah. yeah so um I, I was i was pretty lucky i remember at the start i think there's a point where people start taking more seriously and even mm-hmm. though as horrible it is it's when it becomes money and comes involved yeah. in it that's yeah. how people work you yeah. know people Human. laugh at you as doing something as much you could literally be posting like covers on you know of you singing everyone make fun of you until you get discovered and signed yeah, yeah, somewhere yeah. and you're making money because yeah. every, yeah. everyone is money driven and I remember when I wasn't you know it was just I was doing it for fun like obviously mm-hmm. I still do it for fun now but like when it was that was it it wasn't anything more it wasn't my job yeah people were like oh Freya like you're still doing it like oh Freya that feels a bit boring and still to stay people were like like my best friends like to me like we're so on studio just like Freya I, d- I don't really get why people watch a GCSE video she's like I find them a bit boring and I'm like that's <laughs> why like I don't, yeah. I don't like, gonna get yeah. it she's like I don't, I don't really get it like I don't really get like why people would want to do their GCSEs come home and watch a video about GCSEs yeah yeah but it, yeah it's hard to write your head around but no I, I was really lucky because I think I don't know if girls are nicer or girls are more behind your back so it was never to my face that's at it, least yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was find like, out through yeah, someone else I was lucky in that sense but no, I, I have been really lucky. My friends have been really, really nice about it. And my family's always, like, been so supportive about it. And like I said, like I explained to you guys earlier, you know, my like my pa- family's always been like, Freya, I'm, like, uploaded in a week. Like, come on, upload. Like, you're yeah. going to regret if you don't. Like, and no, I've always had, like, the right support systems yeah. from it. That's really good. But yeah, I think it just, the, when people get a bit, like, funny about it, at the end of the day, like, it's, th- th- it's they've got to go and do different things. That's mm. obviously not what they want to do. But if, is that something you want to do there's no mm. point listening to them yeah. like there's a reason that they're getting jealous about it and it is it's just jealousy any Absolutely, hate is a yeah. form of jealousy so that's it so yeah. definitely so you um we spoke about in our last episode here about kind of not caring about other people's opinions and stuff mm. you seem like a really positive person yeah. just from knowing you yeah um so do you do that do you just hate comments and stuff you just don't care doesn't do you get doesn't many come hate in? comments i think I don't know what my thing is, but I've never really got a lot of hate comments. Really? They're always little silly things like, I don't know, like, they're mostly from, like, people I know as a joke. Like, it'll be like something like that. Or, no, mm-hmm. I've never really got, like, I think people who normally watch your videos, and if your video is kind of a, f- like, fine standing video, it gets the normal amount of views you get. Normally hate doesn't come that much. It's when a video goes onto a recommended page or yeah. gets attention people from People that don't else. know you feel like they yeah. can say stuff, yeah. I think the most hate, I got which wasn't really hate I don't know if it was just kind of like trying to be 
helpful but I got when I started my GCSE videos everyone was like what the hell are you doing they really? were like you're being stupid why are you putting YouTube really? before your education like yeah. Yeah. this is wasting time and I was like I'm so like and I was like oh my god maybe I shouldn't be doing this and I remember I was like talking to my mum about it I was like everyone's telling me I shouldn't be doing this she was like no 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 like trust me like I think this is the right thing to do she yeah. was like yeah, helping people definitely. that's so good yeah. that you've got that support as well like I sucks. feel like a lot of parents mm. would have been like sit down revise and get yeah. into your bedroom yeah. exactly. stop putting videos yeah. about it on the internet and, and it's get so on ironic that that is what's kind of like launched you recently yeah, as yeah, well yeah absolutely that's yeah. amazing no it is crazy but that's it's mostly been in yeah that sense I think it's again it's just people being like it's something that's out of the normal like no one's really done that before I, yeah. I, I couldn't find somebody on YouTube that vlogged every day of their GCSEs yeah, before yeah. so it's something yeah. new that's the thing it's brilliant and did you was that a conscious de- decision or did you just like do the first cu- day and first couple of days and then you saw the people come in and you're like I need to carry yeah, this on I, I honestly I thought I wasn't gonna I've, I'm not very good at commitment so yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I was like right I started it and I was like um I started doing it and I was like oh maybe I'm not gonna stick to this and I even said at the start I was like I think it's gonna be a series let's see how long it lasts and obviously like I took a few weekends off it took a few weekends off I um and then we had half term and I didn't do as much then because I was not gonna lie I didn't do a lot of revision half term <laughs> so I just kind of laid in bed but yeah I like <laughs> yeah I just I tried to I I, I decided like a thing a bit in I was like I can't stop now I was like people yeah. Are interested waiting in this. for yeah, it, and they? people like, every day if I don't upload it, like, Freya, where is it? I've had my revision break and there's no video to watch. So oh. I was like, oh my god, I feel bad. Yeah. So it was kind of a thing of like, you know, I never it, it didn't take off my time. I've always, I said to people at the start, these videos aren't gonna be amazing. These mm. videos aren't gonna be well edited with like, you know, like a juicy vlog style video where it's like <laughs> drone shots. Like yeah, this video's gonna be revising. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This video is gonna be me moaning about the fact that I don't wanna be revising and like it's gonna be me like cooking my food and like That's singing. So to relatable because yeah. everyone's doing it. it I, I said that at the start, I never wanted to put myself up loads of pressure that I had to make these amazing videos. That's why I said I'm gonna do it on my iPhone, I'm gonna do it really like chilled out and I think if I didn't take that approach and I was trying to be really like well edited with it and you know yeah. spend time doing it then I wouldn't have and it wouldn't also look like you were going through it yeah like people would be thinking why is she doing all this amazing yeah. filming and editing like she, it should just be with you yeah how you are naturally doing your revision yeah like, yeah and that's right. how I wanted to do it but yeah, yeah and then I got it I, I remember because I was like people want to see more about it. like what, what else can you like vlog like you going out of your friends for like a day or like I vlogged like a bit of my house parties which people yeah. loved because that's like such a teen thing you yeah, know like a lot, of te- yeah, a lot of teenage girlfriends like going to a house party yeah so I did that for them like people love that and like love it's just I think it's again like you said relatable comp like think people who haven't seen it before if someone hasn't seen you know or someone didn't do their GCSEs or they did it when it was a bit different or mm. someone never went to a house party in their like teenagers because they didn't want to or yeah. for other reasons I'm like okay well like, you can live it through me I'll yeah. just do it and get yeah. instead yeah. like you didn't have to do it like getting already I'll just take you to a house party yeah, like, yeah. yeah. My channel. brilliant so and yeah like- it was just kind of that approach I think it was the I'm, I'm really glad I did it I definitely I bet yeah, yeah. a really good Hugely. choice for my good channel. decision to make wasn't it no, definitely. Obviously, you've had like loads of amazing moments sort of through YouTube. What What do you think your favourite moment would be? Um, I've had yeah. It's, I think it's opportunities. Some mm-hmm. of my favourite. So like, I got to I was interviewed by the Sunday Times like a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. From that was through GCSEs, which was crazy. Like doing a huge like being on their website, being in like the newspaper, and you know like the Sunday Times. That's like like everyone amazing. reads. Yeah, that was crazy. Um as well meeting people like yeah either that's friends or people who watch my videos like summer in the city i've made so many friends and like going to conventions and like meeting yeah. people who are similar to you like being able to the do something like this yeah, yeah it's like you know you don't realize like especially like around these areas like no, not a lot of people like from worthing like, no, you, you don't hear yeah. worthing yeah. much you hear a lot of brighton yeah, brighton but... like and that's why i'm saying <laughs> there are a few worthing yeah that's why I'm, i live in brighton that is easy. <laughs> yeah, everyone does it. Yeah. Everyone says it. Yeah. because <laughs> it's just you know that people are creating communities which is what we need to do like you did it with like your whole bloggers event you did yeah it's like that's that's the amazing thing it's like i wouldn't know half the people i know because of it i've made friends who maybe don't do youtube anymore but i've met them because of this yeah. like friends even in my friendship group that i know now is because like they found that interesting and like we got on through it like yeah that's definitely something that i think has been amazing as well like i said being able to focus on it like all the time like being able to quit my job and like that's been mm. an amazing opportunity because that was such a big stress for people as well through GCSE season is trying to like get a job or like oh, I've got to work on Saturday so I can't revise on Saturday like yeah. that's like I think not a lot of people got to like deal with and be able to like just apply for myself and like 
save for things and being able to like have an income which yeah. like through something like youtube is crazy if you it think is, about your free your do, it? I, I like trying to explain it to older people yeah. is the hardest oh, thing it's ever very tricky, that's what it? i would <laughs> say like i try and explain it to my granddad or like how do you what do you yeah, say i'm just like um well i what does he call it he calls it just like oh, you still doing that that thing online i was yeah. like yeah. <laughs> yeah and he's like oh okay but i i just like basically Leave it to like, it. i upload videos and um it's like I'm lucky that it's my job, and he's like, "What are they on?" I'm like, "Makeup." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't have those easy way out, really. Yeah. I'm like, it's basically every day I vlog my GCSEs. What's a GCSE? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 So I was like, easy to say that. No, we just say makeup. This yeah, makes sense, it's easier. It? So yeah. obviously, like YouTube isn't all about views and subscribers mm. and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, we obviously. And it's hard not to compare yourself sometimes to other channels. So yeah. we like obviously look up to bigger channels and the kind of content that we make and we want to produce. What kind of channels do you look up to? What kind of even like subscriber counts? Like where do you yeah. want to go? Have you got like a goal that you set yourself? Um, yeah. What kind of channels? I'm trying to think. I like a lot. It's like, like I said, vlogging. I really, really like vlogging. There's like I think the new like inverse of kind of like teenage girl YouTubers that's coming in of like a lot more. I think a few years ago teenage girl youtubers were like very like oh like floral is that the yeah. right like you know they had to be very like innocent and there's this like new influx of like girls who were just like going out with their friends like having laughs like like emma, honest yeah, stuff like, isn't it emma chamberlain i watch her a lot she's an american youtuber and she's very like you know like just she's like my age and she just doesn't really care just and i just real. like I, yeah i love that like i love i do i love like the quick editing videos we want to get more into that actually editing my videos so i think that's amazing but yeah, I, I know I, last year I set myself a goal. I wanted 50,000 by August mm. of this year. Cause I really Smashed wanted, it. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted it for uh, Summer City. I was like, I want to go to Summer City next year with 50k. I, yeah. like, I really want to do it. Um, Brilliant. So yeah, I'm really glad I did that. But I don't... I, I think it's hard to tell with subscriber count. We just want because... 10, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> 10K, please. That'd Anyone. Be, that'd be great. That's the thing, you just you can't predict it. No. You cannot no. predict when you're going to get... I literally, at the start of the year, I was like, God, I'm not going to get 50K by August. So yeah, I was like, yeah. I had like 20,000. I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to gain 30,000 subscribers. And that like, so it's not happening <laughs> yeah. for you. Like, don't even try it. But I think it's so unpredictable. Like, you know, there could be this huge influx of people who start working on YouTube and then everyone's subscriber counts could go up by like a million easily. And it's just like, because that's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. And then a million won't be a lot. And then 10 yeah. million won't be a lot. So it's, it's hard to find tell. Like, once you've got, like we found when we got to like 1,000, we were mm. like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then like looking on to 5,000, it was like, God, that's ridiculous. Yeah. And then now you're there, you're like, oh, like what's next? Like, do you find you get quite used to what yeah, you have yeah. and kind of like still want, to, want yeah, more and more? 100%. It's kind of like... You know, I, was, I remember I was like, oh my God, I got hit it on my birthday, 50,000, mm. which was in May. So I was like, oh my God, that's like mental, like 50,000 people. Yeah. And you start to think like 50,000, like the O2 Stadium, I could feel that like twice. And it's like, what? that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it, like if you think about it like that, but I think it's, it's, you, it's quite hard not to like get, yeah, used to the number. And yeah. Because I think you forget, you're like 5,000, but then I've always found that hard because I've always been type of to like compare myself and I'm like, okay, I've got 50,000, that's mm. good. But then like my friend's got this much and I'm like, oh, that's not as many. Yeah. But you, I think it's just, you've got to remember that like, it's, it's, you've done that. Mm. Like as much as somebody else has mm. done that, out you've, nothing you've done well. this out of nothing. Yeah. And you know, a lot of, you know, YouTubers who have bigger amounts, they might have put like, they've, a lot of people should put more money into it or some YouTubers have gone around it the wrong way. Like it's hard, like, you're not like partially it's to say some have, like some have got it from helping like other things or things they've done, like crazy things in their life. But I'm just happy that, I'm happy with how I've got there. Yeah. I think that's the main yeah. thing. Like, like naturally, yeah, isn't it? I yeah. haven't like done anything insane. Yeah. But I just, I hope, I just want to keep growing and I want to keep like, I just want to keep like the, how, how I'm happy with it now and I mm -hmm. want to make sure I keep mm -hmm. enjoying it and I don't want to carry on doing it if I do stop enjoying it yeah. oh yeah I think there's no point you know don't force it you, you got wouldn't... to do what you love basically it's, again yeah. at the end of the day like if you 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 were in a job and you hated it would you stay there mm. you wouldn't. people like, do this a lot of thing. people do that's the problem yeah and like, that's what we speak about on this podcast quite a lot yeah. isn't it mm. that why are people doing things that they don't want to do we we spoke about that um life timeline thing so yeah. it's like birth and death and then <laughs> teenage years and stuff mm. and retirement and then in the middle is work work you yeah know, living That's your life and yeah then so many people like do something that they don't enjoy for that amount of time like 70 80 percent of your yeah, life that's it's yeah. just crazy like we always like to i remember we talk about as a family my sister was like to me i'm like you know what like i've got i've got two months off but then i have to go back to college like for the first, that's the easy years like that's yeah. the easiest and you've got yeah. to go do yeah you know, you've got to do all this like working you've got work every day you've got to, like and i'm like God, don't talk about it so negatively yeah, like yeah. come on like do yeah. something i don't want to be like that i'm like i'm i'm gonna try my best not to end up being 
I don't want to be in a job or doing something I don't enjoy or being just in a situation. I don't think it's just jobs that really, you know, it's not the only thing just that affects your mood. Yeah. It's just life, like yeah. being somewhere I want to be. Yeah, such good attitude. Yeah, I, and don't, I, I yeah. think like when I was your age, I was so like opposite. I was like, I need to get a good job that pays well, mm. get a mortgage. Me too. Like yeah. have the normal romantic Yeah, it yeah. is. And it's so good that you've like realised, I feel like we've realised this in the past, like maybe like a couple of years. I feel like you've realised it like so young yeah. and that's so great because it's like you're already ahead of yeah. everyone else. It's brilliant. And social media gets... Mm-hmm obviously great things about it it gets a bad press sometimes doesn't it as well especially with older generations as well um do you so like people addicted to it people on their phones constantly not living in the real world how do you kind of look at that do you do you think is it a good thing or like i think a lot i to me like a lot of people say it's really negative but like we see the good side of it like how how do you we flip it around like you know even in a restaurant like you have to take a photo of your food sometimes before you even eat it and stuff like that what do you think addiction is bad do you think social media is bad do you think it's good i I, I'm honestly, I'm a bit, I'm, I'm a one side, I'm kind of like either side about it. I think as well, I've grown up with this like more proper modern day social media as a teenager, yeah. which is the worst age to grow up with yeah. things like Snapchat maps and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, being yeah. see where you are constantly and, you know, Instagram. It's scary, and, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. It. Mm. Like, no, you know, you're, you can see everything. You know, everyone is wherever, mm-hmm. you know what they're doing, you yeah. know who they're, they're literally with like yeah. you yeah. can see yeah. their groupings and see who they're with and you know you can tell when they're on their like phones because it was say like, active now like yeah it's it, it is it's it's scary in a sense like i love social media like as much as we all say it's we like oh it's a scary place you know people are addicted to it i think we all are secretly like but then at the end of the day like it's an amazing thing like mm. imagine our lives without it like what you can do with it yeah as well. exactly do you, know, like, do you know what i find funny the um you know, older people generally diss social media. Yeah. The, the fastest growing age demographic on Facebook is like 50 to 70. Yeah, really. So they're loving it secretly. Yeah, exactly. They yeah. Farmville. Is yeah. like- they, hate, they, they hate to see like teenagers and young people like, on their phones yeah, constantly. Yeah, on their phones. Walking yeah. down the street yeah. texting or whatever. But like, it, it has, it's the times moving on. Yeah, the exactly. Day, like it's, everything's progressing like everything around us yeah. cars are getting different but they're not yeah. about that you know like everything's yeah, changing so true. if we if our like technology wasn't changing you know we weren't you know getting like that like getting more in social media and mm. you know more jobs are coming out of it. It, it, it there's so many positives out of it and there yeah. is there's negatives as well but there's negatives with everything yeah i think people forget you know that they people like they bash youtubers because they say oh, they, they do these bad things but then you've got so many other career like you've got people in like governments doing bad things like mps you know everyone is doing bad things but they mm. they they go for us because it's easy yeah it's easy and it's, it's different and yeah. people hate change and the, especially the older generation one thing i've learned is they hate change yeah. and the fact that yeah. this is tv like people aren't going on like do like watching tv as much like the younger generations i haven't watched tv in like years no like, we don't we don't even yeah. no like you know youtube's got, reality yeah, tv isn't it exactly and it's free like that's the thing like you're yeah. not paying for this it's it's a free service that people are you know making a living out of while being a- able to entertain you mm-hmm. and there's a good you know they say it's a horrible place but i mean they're youtuber on monetization things like that now like it's like things that are getting better but I think it's the fact that they did, they just think it's a change of the times that they don't like because yeah. they want everything to stay the same. But if everything stayed the same, then we'd live in a very boring world. And exactly. as well, we wouldn't be... Everyone's doing it. We've kind of just got to join it. But mm-hmm. no, I, I do think it's a positive thing. Yeah. And as much as sometimes I wish like there wasn't social media because of, you know, things I've seen like happen online and things mm. that I've, I've like gone through and like you know, arguments with friends that happen on, you know, people are a lot more bold over text. I've mm. always said that. Oh yeah. yeah. Hiding behind the keyboard or whatever. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot easier, isn't it? If that's hate comments or if that's your friend in an argument, everyone's more bold because yeah, yeah. Behind, they cut, you can't go over to them. No. You can't literally like go through the screen about, right, let's, <laughs> yeah. let's actually chat about this. People are more bold and that's, that that's obviously a disadvantage of it. But overall, I, I do think it is an amazing thing and, mm. you know, it doesn't matter who was on it or who was controlling it and what was made it's the people at the end of the yeah. day it, just because it's social media is happening on it's not social media doing it it's yeah. the people on social media exactly. which have always been here and will, will always be here so it's more yeah. accessible yeah. now isn't it yeah. yeah it's just the fact that they've got they've got a voice mm. but we exactly. shouldn't be changing social media because people are being innocent on it people are doing the right things we should be changing the actual people who yeah. are you know yeah. doing these bad things and only Such the bad stuff point. gets highlighted often yeah, it's like exactly. leave, you know like restaurant reviews people yeah. don't go and leave a yeah. good review no, you only I hear the bad yeah. stuff yeah exactly so the the business side of it and um do, do you see it as a business you, you obviously are kind of running a business mm. but do you see it as that see i've never i never have i think i think it was my mum said to me the other day she was like you know you're self-employed i was like am i yeah, <laughs> I was like, what yeah. Do you call that? Like, yeah. i don't know what that means but i mean i mean yeah in a sense it is a business and you have to 
you know, I've tried to get more into like my analytics and things like that now because mm. I found that tab on my YouTube <laughs> Create app. And I was like, wow, yeah. this is interesting. Like, I haven't <laughs> seen this before. Like I am, yeah, I'm trying to get more, a bit more like savvy with things like that. But I mean, I, I do, I suppose it is a business and I see it in the sense of a business, but to me, it's so much more simpler than that. I, I try to explain to people, I'm the most simplest yeah. YouTuber you've ever watched. <laughs> yeah. like, it's refreshing. Yeah. Right? It really, it like, really people, is. People get so caught up on it. People get so caught up in numbers and what age you're watching my videos? What what gender's watching my videos? You know, yeah. how many views did this one get to this one? This one wasn't long enough. This one was too short. Mm. Oh, maybe my videos need to have this in it. Like, I just, I just like, I like to say simple with it. You know, like if, I, like, especially with, obviously there's so much more to what than people see. You know, you're doing your emails and things like that. And I try to be really good with like sponsorships and like, yeah. you know, the, that business side of things. And I, I don't like doing, I'm like, I don't like doing things like that. I really mm. don't like just trying to- You just to, want to make your videos. I We're a bit like yeah, that. We hate the idea of like, like, we'd never, we would say like, we'd never work with a mm. brand unless we genuinely yeah. believe in it. Like we hate the idea of doing stuff just for money and then like not conning our audience, but like pushing yeah. something we don't actually believe in. Yeah. Like I think we're very, we're probably quite similar in that. Yeah. And a lot of the bigger way. YouTubers now are saying they don't have time to make videos because mm. they're doing all the business side of it. Yeah. So mm. it seems so ironic, but like you are 16 and you're, you know, you're dealing with brands and contracts yeah. and you're having meetings and all that kind of stuff. And you're making, obviously making money yeah. from YouTube, doing something that you love, which is incredible. Um, and you, you, you know, you're a teenager who doesn't need to get a, a, a normal mm. part-time job. How do your sort of friends like feel about that when their lives are very different, very different and yeah. they, they need to get a part-time yeah. job in a cafe or a bar or restaurant or whatever. Surprisingly, it's very, it's our eyes. <laughs> Oi, <laughs> caught the microphone over. there. Just going to hold that. Um, no, don't hold it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's that's fine. It. Is it all right? Yeah, we're good. We're okay. Good. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've, I think over summer and it, well, a, a proper topic when I do see my friends at things at like parties, maybe it's more confident because people have other things in them, but <laughs> it's, it's very like, do you make money? How much money do you make? Oh, and yeah, always yeah, the first question. Yeah. How much money do you make? It's annoying. Like, you'd never ask someone else that. No. no. And That's so true. Yeah. You would never, yeah. would you? you would and never... we get asked that, like people like at work would be like, oh, what? Um, so how much do you actually make on yeah. YouTube then? And I'm like, well, no, how much do you make at your job? Like, you don't say yeah. that. People see it as a different thing, it's but so it's rude, really it? not. Yeah. It's just doing something that happens to make money. Yeah. But, mm. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of my friends, I think as much as they love me, they get angry. They're like, oh, I just don't understand it. They're like, yeah. you're doing nothing. <laughs> they yeah. they did like, you're, you're, especially like with me, my videos are so simple. And like, they are so like, just like copy and paste into it and just like cut it up a little bit and put it up. Like, I think for example, your videos. I think if I, if I was uploading videos your style, my friends would be like, oh, mate, yeah, you are spending quite a lot of time on that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, you deserve it, Freya. But for me, they're like, Freya, really? Like, come yeah. on. Like, I've, and I completely understand it. I'm like, I know. Like, I don't think I'm, I'm never there defending me. Like, no, YouTube is such hard work. Like, yeah. Yeah. at the end of the day, this, the job, I'm like having this as a job is a lot easier than what my friends have to do when they have yeah. to go do their paper rounds or their working jobs like in a cafe for not enough money that they should be earning because they're hard jobs. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like YouTube is, it has its stresses, but compared to some jobs in real life, it mm. is easy and mm. it is a lot easier and it's not a walk in the park and you do get, you know, horrible comments and things like that and you do have to you know, spend time replying to emails and you have the stresses and like, just in case something doesn't go well and it's unpredictable. That's mm. a horrible thing about yeah. it. Yeah. You don't know your time span. Like yes. people could just click off bubble could burst, yeah, yeah. and it's over. Like it's not, you know, it's, it's probably not sustainable, yeah. is it? Like we no. don't know, we don't know what YouTube's future is. Exactly. We don't know what the next thing is, if it's going to be around for much longer. Like mm -hmm. if it's, I suppose it's still growing now, but yeah. what if people get bored of that and there's something new that happens? Exactly. That's why I've always been very, I've always been like, I've got to have a plan B just in case. Yeah. I was like, you know, oh, okay. Well, if like maybe YouTube stops earning me money, I can, I can always, if I need to get a job, I can do this. And like, I've always been scared for that reason. But yeah, I think the reaction towards my friends and things like that is, is it is, it's, it's anger. And I completely yeah. understand it. Like it is, it's like, yeah. bro, why are you getting this? Like yeah. why, how come that that is a job? But like, how is YouTube actually a job when there's people, you know, like doctors, like there's YouTube's been paid more than doctors who are saving people's lives and like yeah. things like that. And it's, it's understandable. It really, yeah. really is. But at the end of the day it's not like I'm here like I've I haven't been like right no I'm gonna do that and I haven't always been really braggy about it like it's I'm and I, I'm down to I, earth. yeah I'm yeah. very very you know like I know where I am and I'm like completely aware of like the situation I'm in and I'm very thankful for it so I think it's kind of like as much as they are kind of angry about it, like okay then like I suppose that's your thing yeah, but I, yeah. you know I, I I think they're there everyone has their rights like I think as much like it does get bashed you have to understand where people are coming from mm. and it's new yeah, isn't it it is it's it's 
it's like TV. It's like actors and actresses and foot, football is exactly. still good to this day. Football's yeah. been around for years just because they earn a lot of money. People hate it. Like, but people still watch yeah, it. But people still yeah. watch it. Totally. But and they a, still support it. There's yeah. this whole thing around people thinking that work should be stressful and mm. it's just accepting that work should be something that you don't enjoy. But yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong. We're trying to push this. There's nothing wrong with doing, you know, something that you love and with work being enjoyable. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a hard grind. Like obviously work hard. That's a good message. Mm, but if it's doing something you love, it's not going to be like hard work. Exactly. It's going to be, it's going to be work, but you're going to enjoy it. You're going to work even harder on it probably yeah. if you actually enjoy and there's it. there's nothing wrong it's with love. that. Would you encourage people to do YouTube and social media and stuff? hundred percent. Literally hundred yeah. percent. I think if they enjoy it, if it's something they mm. enjoy, I know people that would go, oh my God, I couldn't think of anything worse. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is, but then there's, there's, it's the exact same with other jobs, you know, that like, jobs people have had like a doctor i could not think of anything worse than being a doctor it's not my me neither i hate blood hate things like that based on that gcse video (laughs) exactly but people some people love that they look forward to going to work every day because that's something that they enjoy that's what they want to be doing yeah and that's 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 the reason it's their job and for like exactly for youtubers the reason it's their job is because that's what they enjoy doing yeah and people need to understand that it's not yeah like you said it's it's people think oh it's not stressful enough literally that's the what people, yeah. why people don't yeah. like it it's yeah. not stressful enough of a job but that makes no sense why are we telling people you can't do that job because you're yeah. enjoying it yeah, you much. need exactly. some more stress yeah. in your life Crazy, isn't it's it? literally like somebody working in a say put some work in a corner shop and they just loved it like nope sorry you cannot work here anymore because you enjoy you're enjoying it too much, it too much. <laughs> you can't yeah. say that it's just because it's, so it's, a, it's a new different forte and people don't like it because it's different mm-hmm. and because people are actually enjoying doing a job that they wouldn't have been doing before yeah and that's why people don't like it but it's, it is it's really really crazy and I think it's it's such a personal thing and like you know a job somebody can enjoy it, it varies depending on the person and their hobbies and what they yeah. want to be doing no absolutely but I no, think yeah. where where it can go wrong there I think would be if like well, I know a lot of channels that have like come on and then failed because they've tried to do something out, mm. like outrageous get money from it like they're literally money minded mm. and they're not doing it because they've got any yeah. love for it or enjoying it and that's all that it's focused on. You have to love you the have process. To be, yeah, don't you? you have to be yeah, into definitely. it and like want to do it and look forward to uploading and creating. And I think that's the main. But you always find key. it's the challenge that people who do enjoy it and are wanting to do it for the right reasons that last yeah. and that carry on yeah. because it becomes very obvious after a while. People see through it, yeah. don't they? hundred mm, percent. Definitely. Well, Freya, we think you're amazing. Like your <laughs> outlook on life at like 16 is oh, crazy. I wish I had that when I was 16. I'm looking forward to seeing where you go next. Yeah, like we'll you. be watching. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for coming on the podcast. Of course. Anytime. We hope you enjoyed it. So guys, check <laughs> out, um, what do people type in? Just Freya Fox? Just Freya Fox. Freya yeah. Fox, you'll find the videos. Um, you'll find the video we did as well. Yeah. If yes. it's up by the time. It be. Yeah, it'll be up. It'll be up. Hopefully. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on and yeah thanks again everyone for listening yeah we'll see you next week bye